In the upcoming audio, you can hear the voice of Fitz Bailey, DCP, as he details Kinesis' last encounter with her accused murderer, Robert Fowler, a.k.a. Bakra. Mr. Robert Fowler, 50 years old, mechanic, of a Portmore address, and employed to Bowler's Motoring World, was charged with the murder of Kinesis Jackson, a Cones clerk, of a St. Catherine address and formerly employed to Poly Foods Limited located in Crossroads. The circumstances which led to the arrest and charge of Robert Fowler is that on Wednesday the 24th of March 2021, Miss Canis Jackson, aged 20 years old, left her residence in Portmore, St. Catherine at 7 a.m. for work. She did not turn up for work and effort to contact her were unsuccessful. A report was made to the police that the Cayman as police at 8 p.m. that same day. As a result of the report, investigation into a missing person commenced and the appropriate protocol were established. On Friday, the 26th of March 2021, the body of a female was discovered at the whole fishing village in Portmore, St. Catherine, that is in the vicinity of the Dyke Road. The body was later identified as Canis John Jackson, who was reported missing. Investigation led the police to crossroads where Mr. Fowler was taken into custody. After further investigation and interview, the police was able to recover a number of physical items, including an, a handbag suspected to be that of Ms. Jackson, as well as a banking card and other physical evidence. The accused also gave a caution statement that was recorded in the presence of his attorney. It is to be noted that based on investigation, the victim was killed between 7 a.m. and 9 a.m. in the morning that she left for work. After the postmortem result, it will be determined if additional charges will be preferred against the accused. I want to point out that this time that during the investigation, the accused actually took the officers to a number of locations, including a location somewhere in Portmore, where he indicated that he tried to dispose of the body of the victim, but for some reason, he actually removed it from that location and took the body to the location where she was discovered. She also, he also took the police to an address in Crossroads where he claimed that certain items of clothing were disposed of. When the police went and searched, it was not discovered, it was not discovered as we believe that it could have been taken by the garbage collectors. Um, investigation continues. I also want to point out that a piece of garment, a shamai to be specific, was also discovered, which is very critical to the investigation. He will appear before the court on the 9th of April, 2021.